Hi and welcome at Computex 2013. My name is Jacob. Uh, we're here at the Noctua booth and I'm going to briefly introduce you to our active noise cancellation technology. Basically, uh, the principle behind active noise cancellation is to use one sound wave to cancel out another sound wave. Now the reason why this hasn't been applied to fan technology so far is that the way fans emit noise is so complex. Fans put out these rotating pressure fields, so when you want to do active noise cancellation on a fan, you have to make sure that you match these rotating pressure fields. Now the brilliant thing about the Roto Sub technology that we are using is that we can employ the fan impeller itself to create the anti-noise signal. The way this works is uh, that we have um, a coil inside the fan frame, you can see it here in red, and a magnet sitting inside the blade tips. And when we switch on the coil, we can pull down the blade tips slightly, and when we switch it off again, they will go back up. Now when we do this at a high speed, uh, the fan impeller itself emits an extra sound signal. And this is the sound signal that we use as an anti-noise signal. Now the advantage of this technology is that this anti-noise signal will have the same rotational pattern as the original noise signal from uh, of the fan, and it will come from the same uh, it will come from the same source. So it will behave very similar when uh, it uh, hits, for example, a heatsink or a radiator or a fan grill. Now the prototype uh, we're displaying here is the world's first CPU cooler with active noise cancellation. It's actually uh, almost ready uh, for production. We have uh, the active noise cancellation fan sitting uh, sandwiched in between two fin stacks. Uh, the cooler is uh, based upon our popular NHD14. And with the prototype, we're already seeing uh, very promising uh, results. Uh, we can uh, match the performance of our popular NHD14 dual fan, dual stack cooler at much lower noise levels, or if we uh, go for the same noise level, offer quite a significant boost in cooling performance. Uh, what I have to stress is that this technology is uh, extremely difficult uh, to control in manufacturing, so we've got still a couple of challenges ahead, and I can't promise that we'll have it ready like for Christmas time, but we're working hard to make it happen in 2014, and we'll definitely keep you posted. Thank you very much.